Alright, so basically, man, we back here. Man, look, bro. Shmino retweeted the graduation pictures, bro. Your boy graduated this past Saturday. <laughs> so, shit. <laughs> We got a um, bachelor's. We got a bachelor's. That boy got the BS. We got a BS. We got the BS up the way. In the art. BS You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Broadcast journalism and stuff. You know, we out here. That's probably why the, the videos ain't been as frequent, you know? Oh, that, that ain't no problem. That's why the videos ain't been frequent. Like, real talk. Like, I, at the beginning of the semester, I basically ran out of financial aid. So, I kind of, yo, ain't no count. I had to take 18 hours in the fall and 18 hours in the spring to basically graduate on time. Or I was gonna be, yeah, basically paying out of pocket. So we I made it. No we, we made it. Barely. The main thing though, I uh shit. Well, the main thing I told you to do my video. I mean, I told you to do my graduation pictures on album covers. Some of my favorite album covers of all time. The first album cover that we chose to do was the Tupac Me Against the World album cover. So pretty much the Tupac one was actually kind of hard to do. I'm not, I mean a little bit, it was more of like matching the the edit of it more so cause like that's an old ass picture so I don't really know what the fuck they did. Yeah, it looked, like all, was, gray, it looked all grainy and junk. He was standing by a building and then he's like, he got this big bright ass cloud of light behind him. I'm just like, yo, he's in heaven, hell, what, what is he doing? So I was just like, you know what, cool. So, I would say, like, the, the main reason I chose that one, the main reason, like, I chose to do that one because at the time, like, I basically just became, I basically became a Tupac fan maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. about a year, about two, yeah, about two years ago, I became a Tupac fan. And I basically, like, went and listened to all his music within, like, a month. I just sat and listened to all his music and became, like, a huge fan. And I came to the conclusion that, like, Me Against the World was basically, like, his most conscious album. Versus the rest of them, like this was the time where, like you know, he had got accused of rape and stuff, and he just had like a lot of stuff going on. And he recorded this album like right before he go to jail, right before he went to jail or whatever. So it was just a lot of stuff because, like, he had got he 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 talked about the shooting, the NYC shooting when he went to the uh, recording studio or whatever. Like, it was just a lot going on this CD, and I just felt like. Yeah, like this, yo, me against Sally Mae, bro. Me against the world. It it makes sense. So, yeah. Hey. All right. So, second cover was the Smino one, which is probably the most, uh, well, the least, uh, I don't know how to put it. It was the easiest, pretty much. Pretty much. So, that, was, that, was, that one was fun. So, it was pretty much about lighting. Like so, we had to like match the lighting, and since this album cover is pretty much a headshot of this nigga getting his hair twisted or whatever by a female's hands, obviously, I was like, okay, cool. So pretty much set up the lighting, got the gels on, got the red gel, the blue gel, put them together, we make purple. Put the P in front of it, now it's purple. And the thing about it was like, I don't have any hair, so that was like that the was whole fun. thing, like how we was gonna do that. We was like, so we use some. That was fun. We was like, should we use like clippers? Should we use a razor or something? But the shaving cream, shaving cream shaving came in handy. Shaving so yes, you know, it's it's not a perm. It's definitely not a perm. It's definitely not a perm. It's I was getting my head shaved on ball. Mm -hmm. So yeah, which by the way, Shmino retweeted that picture. Picture low key went viral. So if y'all like see that picture like on Twitter or something, don't retweet it, man. To follow, man. Shout us out, man. You exactly, know, man. Shout us out. No, at Tungary Tungary was. was. Come on, man. So, love. so yeah, like my reason for choosing that album cover, basically, like for one, I became a Shmino fan with Black Swan, and basically, like, I just like the album. I just like the way this. I like the way the album cover looks. Not, don't get it twisted though. I love this whole. Like, I love the whole album. That year, I think Black Swan made it to like my top five. So. I, I, I really do enjoy I really do enjoy the album a lot. Like I low key like I think I like that album more than I like Noir. But I mainly like my main thing was like I guess the visual elements of like the album cover. Like I just like the way it looked. I don't know what colors it was. What it was? It was blue and what it was blue and red. Yeah, I like a purplish type. I just like the way the album cover looked, bro. The, the album cover just gave off a vibe, like mood. Like 
Yeah, it's like it's a real, re, like surreal raw feeling. Cause it's like, bro, like he ain't really doing much. It's just him. Getting his album. Bro, it's just like a chill it. vibe move, and I feel like that's the mood of the album. It, basically, so yeah. All right, the third cover that we did, John Carter's "The Blueprint 3. All right, so that one was fun. I got to use some props. We, you know, we had got two guests. <laughs> We had to push them together. We pretty much put like what we use a laptop, basically notebook, basically I guess every element of what combined that last year. I feel like that was kind damn. Of that dude made damn. Now that I think about it, it, was everything that was like going on in the final semester. Exactly. Put all the elements that summed up the year on the side of you in the captain gown. Yeah. Smoking a cigar. Yeah, cigar. Yeah, so, but, but yeah, the lighting, lighting was kind of difficult, like, to kind of get where the direction of the light was coming from and make it, like, match up. And he almost fell off a ladder. I did almost fall off a ladder, but, you know, that angle, anything for the shot. Anything. No, so, yeah. like, the editing was actually kind of difficult because I could not, for the life of me, find that font. I still didn't get to find that font. Like I, I kind of just used some close to it. And I, I noticed that. Manipulated. I was just like, yo, what, what the fuck did they use for this font? <laughs> and I'm like, I was Googling shit for like three hours. And I'm just like, couldn't find nothing. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna make some shit. It's to try that counts, man. <clears throat> like, okay, so the reason for choosing that particular album cover. Okay, the blueprint. Man, the blueprint to me is like one of the best hip hop albums of all time. Like that to me, that's like the quote on. That's like the quote on quote classic like it's 13 tracks and every song on there is I know, it, yeah it's damn near a hit damn near a hit like it's a, it's a radio single you know you got renegade on there with eminem one of the shoot it's low-key one of the best verse stillers of all time or low-key just verse mm. verse heist of all lo, one of one of one of but the thing about it like you know what i'm saying eminem probably like eminem you know what i'm saying he had like the better verse or whatever but i feel, like, video jay, for another I feel time. like i feel like jay held his own that's the but, for another time yeah man i mean i don't know i mainly chose this i don't know i chose this album because i felt like it was like Sort of like the beginning of like Jay Z turning into like this whole business mogul person that he is now. It was like the beginning stage that you know. Yeah, cause you know, did he already have Rockefeller before he really? Yeah, yeah, Rockefeller came. Yeah, Rock. You talking about what the, like um, the label? Yeah, Rockefeller had been on. Uh, Rockefeller was established like in '96, I think. For the first time. Okay. Yeah, I think he was starting to do a little bit more, but because you got to think that was the time like that was Jay Z and Lincoln Park Jay Z. You know, he was starting to become more of a, a worldwide name than just like, you know, niggas on the East Coast and in this country. Right. You know this nigga. So, got Beyonce. She dropped her album and shit like, what, a couple years later, the next year. And then it's like, yo, I'm open the house to place to be. Nothing. nothing. H to the Izzo. Wait. Yeah, man. Basically, like, I don't know. That's all I was trying to get across for real, like, with my own graduation pictures. Which basically, show off. Shit, how much I love hip hop, how much I love music. So yeah, dedication to you guys. And this. All right, man. That was just a special announcement we had to make, just to kind of show you guys what we've been at for the past year, what's been going on, and we got a lot more content. On Forget the all that, bro. We don't retweeted this bitch. And also, we don't retweeted this picture. So uh, we don't retweet. We gonna drop the link to the tweet in the comments. And just uh, you go click on that and retweet it for us. That'll be awesome. But uh, this is J and T. D then. Oh shit! Oh no! Boys, drink, drink, drink.